Chevrolet Volt Concept 2007 The Chevrolet Volt Concept car debuted at the January 2007 North American International Auto Show, becoming the first-ever series plug-in hybrid concept car shown by a major car manufacturer. The Volt Concept vehicle had four doors with a rear liftgate and seating for four passengers. This was a significant change in design when compared to the General Motors EV1 of the 1990s, which only seated two to reduce weight and to make the necessary room for the lead asset battery pack. The top speed was also increased on the Volt, from the electronically limited 80 miles per hour, 130 kilometers per hour, to 100 miles per hour. 160 km per hour. The battery pack size was reduced, from about 10.6 cubic feet, 300 liters, in volume in the EV1, to 3.5 cubic feet, 100 liters, in the Volt. General Motors then Vice Chairman for Global Product Development Robert Lutz was looking for a Prius fighter, a leapfrog product like Apple's iPod. The two-seater sports car being developed by Tesla, the Tesla Roadster. 2008, and the rapid advancement of lithium-ion battery technology inspired him to push the carmaker to develop the Volt after the 2006 Detroit Auto Show, overcoming internal opposition that recalled losing a billion dollar in the 1990s over the EV1 electric vehicle program. Lutz's initial idea was to develop an all-electric car, but John Lochner, General Motors Vice President for Global Program Management, quickly sketched out the powertrain layout estimated the vehicle weight and battery requirements, convinced Lutz that to avoid an expensive battery, range anxiety concerns, and lack of public charging infrastructure, they could use a smaller battery pack with a small combustion engine driving a generator acting as a backup to extend the range, but without a mechanical connection between the gasoline engine and the drive wheels, so it would be a pure electrically driven vehicle without many of the limitations General Motors learned from the EV1 experience. Most of the Volt initial design parameters defined for the development of the concept car, then referred as the iCar in homage to the iPod, were kept throughout the process up to the final production version. A key design parameter was a target of 40 miles, 64 kilometers, for the all-electric range, selected to keep the battery size small and lower costs, and mainly because research shows that in the US 78% of daily commuters travel 40 miles or less. This target range lets drivers make most travel electrically driven, with the assumption that charging takes place at home overnight. This requirement translated to using a lithium-ion battery pack with an energy storage capacity of 16 kWh considering that the battery would be used until the state of charge SOC, of the battery reached 30%. This limit to the SOC was necessary in order to maintain operational performance under a wide range of environments, and to minimize the battery degradation to allow at least a 10-year lifespan. The initial target range for the gasoline engine, generator was set between 250 to 300 miles, 400 to 480 kilometers, and the vehicle had to be family size for four or five passengers.